<clears throat> All right. So, uh, busy, busy, busy. Um, let me get this view here. All right, so just uh, had uh, had lunch probably maybe like 20 minutes ago. Not 20 minutes ago, maybe 45 minutes ago. Um, went back home to change. Uh, now it's just dropping off. Uh, had to drop a bank draft presentation center. Now just dropping off some uh, closing gifts for some of my clients in Richmond. And now I gotta go pick up keys for um, my upcoming listing as well. Um, in about two and a half weeks in Burnaby. So um, yeah, lots on the road. And after that, I'm gonna go meet with uh, Ray and Pat to do a video show, uh, video shoot for uh, my new West listing uh, coming up and also um, about in two and a half weeks time. Um, so <laughs> waited a while for the possession uh, this morning as you guys could, uh, saw earlier. Of course, um, place wasn't bad uh, at all. Like, um, you know what, it's a lot, it's 90% a lot better than the most possessions I have. But of course there's missing out details, you know, and especially when you have clients that are wanting things done right, and it should be done right. But um, there's some clients that, you know, won't mind. But you know what, I told them that, you know, if it wasn't done properly, I'll take care of it with these kind of things. And, you know, you can always lay, as a realtor coming in, you can always lay the blame on, on the other person, on the other realtor or the other seller, you know, if they, you know, uh, if they didn't clean the place properly. But at the end, of the day, you have to take responsibility and give the best experience uh, for your client. Unless it's something like really ridiculous, if they like left junk in there or whatever, and you know, you have to get the sellers or the realtor to come remove it, of course. But I'm just saying that the, the experience, especially a first-time home buyer, you want them to give them the, the best experience possible as this is one of the biggest purchase they, they will make or for the very first big purchase they ever will make in their life. Um, yeah, you need to give them that, that experience, you know, and that's how you're gonna win over them in the long run, in the long term. Um, you know, with covering like, you know, cleaning costs, like all these kind of things. Uh, you might be nickel and dime and say, you know, hey, why do I have to pay for this? If you think in the long run of things and the experience that you just gave your client, it might be worth it, right? I'm just saying, do I know the return of investment of it? The ROI of it? I really don't know because again, I just got into this industry, but I, in my gut feeling, I know it's the right thing to do and that's what I'm gonna do. Right. So, anyways, uh, let's continue our day. Hopefully, traffic's not as bad in the U.S. So, we'll see. Probably shouldn't record and drive at the same time but anyways uh, introducing Ray Ray uh, was the guy that was on our team uh, before but left for a bit did some pre-sales uh, now Ray is just starting video so he's doing uh, video real estate and I cannot wait he absolutely has the eye for uh, for videos and photography he is just that is his talent that is his gift so we are super pumped for him to do these videos and hopefully um, he can do more of them and uh, we're just wait super I'm super excited about the the final product that what he's gonna do for um, for us here so uh, anyways you guys probably see more of him and hopefully we can incorporate uh, me and Ray can incorporate more videos together and maybe into the vlog right so we'll see but anyways uh, I am done meeting people for the day so about to head home have some dinner spend time with some fam my family and I'm probably going to be doing some paperwork but I think that's about about it for today it's been pretty eventful uh, as I said earlier about just you know just the details of you know um, Customers always right at the end of the day uh, if you're in the servicing industry a lot of people think real estate real estate is sales But it's heavily heavily rely on service. I, I really truly believe that 
I think there's a lot of uh, hit and run agents. Uh, that's with any sale, but I feel like there's also, you know, you're thinking there's also companies out there that are fully on service, right? They're not just there to get your business, but uh, get your business to cash out, but they're there to give you full service. And for me, uh, how I run my business is I want to make sure my clients get the best of everything and, you know, and that sometimes I have to leave some money on the table, you know, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to wrap this up again. Uh, I'll continue to vlog more, document more because that's what the journey is about for me becoming a real estate agent and, and you know as a process of becoming a realtor. So anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have a good weekend. Long weekends coming out. Have fun. Enjoy the last bit of summer. I'll see you guys tomorrow.